Hey everybody, this is Kevin again. Uh, I first want to start out this video by making an apology to someone. Um, his name is Pete from the Bruce Peters channel. Also, he, he posts a lot of times as PBK Social. And, uh, you know, I think I put some words into his mouth and uh, misrepresented him in one of my previous videos and uh, kind of aligned him with Feminine Tim in the way that... Um, I was treated by Feminine Tim was not very good, but I will have to say that Pete has been courteous with me, although he does disagree with me concerning uh, the rapture of the church and uh, the 70th week of Daniel and so forth and the, the millennial kingdom. He, you know, we, we disagree when it comes to Bible prophecy, what has been, what already has happened and what's still yet to happen. Um, so he and I had discussed this through email and uh, and um, I just wanted to apologize uh, I know that he's a brother in Christ we just don't see eye to eye on on uh, Bible prophecy and with that I'm gonna start this video after the introduction here to say that this is about the modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah that's what America has become and I saw firsthand evidence of it uh, close up and in, in person, personal, a week ago, a week ago today, actually, because we had to go, um, we had to go take some, some, uh, a niece and her dogs part of the way back to where she lives in, in, uh, Southwest Texas. But we went as far as Houston, Texas. And, um, so I got to see a lot of things on the way to Texas going over, uh, Interstate 10 all the way from Central Florida to Houston, Texas. That was a long drive. And, uh, and then once we got there, uh, we left the next day and we drove all the way to New Orleans. I made a stop again at a place in um, as Scott, Louisiana. And this was the first time for me to actually ever uh, be in the state of Louisiana. I'd never, it was the only Southern state I've never traveled through or done anything in. <clears throat> so it was really actually mostly a pleasure driving through uh, on Interstate 10 and Interstate 12 through Louisiana. It was beautiful scenery uh, with rice fields off to the left and right. Also crawfish ponds because they, they have a lot of crawfish. They have a lot of rice and they make really good food. Cajun food is really good. And so <clears throat> um, got to have some of that Cajun food while I was there. Um, but you know, last Sunday, uh, we drove from Houston to New Orleans. It's about a five hour drive and I wanted to see New Orleans firsthand. Didn't want to stay there very long, but I wanted to kind of just see the highlights. Um, and we were on our way back, uh, to Florida, but, uh, stayed over the night in Slidell, but we actually went into New Orleans in the late afternoon and, um, and saw some things. And one of the things that we did see <clears throat> was the French Quarter, you know, the famous French Quarter there in New Orleans, and I walked a lot of it. Um, but I, what I saw there was very shocking because what I saw there were a lot of drunk people walking around on the roads there in the French Quarter, a lot of people getting drunk, and this was not even nighttime yet. I can imagine it's much worse at night. It wasn't even nighttime, but I saw a lot of people, you know, walking around. Not everybody was, but there were a lot of people that were just flat out drunk. There was also, uh, because of this being the month of June, the, the month that they celebrate LGBT pride, gay pride, there was a lot of people there celebrating that. And uh, all the businesses were all celebrating it and endorsing gay pride and LGBT and everybody. A lot of the buildings had the rainbow flags hanging uh, side by side with the United States flag, which is reprehensible to me, but that's what they do. So the, you see the, uh, the rainbow flags everywhere in the city, in the, in the French Quarter. I did go to the famous Bourbon Street, which is in the French Quarter, and walked... The entire length of it actually <clears throat> and while I was there I did you know on that way walking through it I did take some pictures and I took some video of the French Quarter 
And um, I'm going to share that with you in a little bit. You're going to be able to see uh, the, the pictures and the videos I did. Now, one thing that I did uh, anticipate, which I didn't think was bad at all, it was, you know, uh, street musicians, you know, the bands. You typically think of that in New Orleans, right? And there was a really good band. You'll see it at the very end of the video. Uh, a very good band, and they played a lot of different songs. I only got a clip of, of the first song they started to play. Uh, two trumpets, a trombone, a tuba, uh, two, two different drums. I mean, it was a six-piece band. And uh, these guys were very good. Also saw a lot of uh, younger, uh, younger boys that were playing five gallon buckets as drums they had drumsticks and they were playing the five gallon buckets and they were good doing it they and i've got that in the video too <clears throat> and uh they're very good at playing the drums they're just trying to get tips that's really all it's about and <clears throat> and they're not shy about coming up to you and asking for tips either just for watching them you know play for a little bit so one of the things that I noticed also as I was walking through the French Quarter is that there was a smell in there outside that, to me, smelled like vomit. I mean, if you've ever smelled the kind of strong smell of vomit, that's the kind of smell that I could detect. And I didn't see it anywhere on the, on the streets, but I'm sure that so many of these drunk people have just vomited in the streets all these years that it permeates the roads there and you can smell it maybe it was down in the gutters and you could smell it from there i don't know nobody else that i was uh my wife and daughter they didn't detect it at all they smelled other things but they didn't smell that there was also people with cigar smoke and pipe smoke and cigarettes everywhere i mean there was a lot of smoking going on too uh but there was also and also a lot of people that were drunk obviously but the smell that i smelled more than anything was the smell of vomit which i was like wow i've never smelled that in any city that i've walked through i'm sure that's probably the case in other places too but walking through the french quarter was a big eye opener i knew somewhat what to expect but i'd never seen it firsthand um but to me walking around there um it just seemed like to me that it was a modern day Sodom and Gomorrah. I just felt like a lot, you know, being there vexed, being around these people that are lost, that are, you know, that are just, all their life is about is getting drunk and sex. And that's what I detected walking through the French Quarter was this Sodom and Gomorrah type spirit going on. And I know it goes on elsewhere in, in other cities in the United States as well. But this city was permeated with it. Like I said, it wasn't throughout the other parts of New or uh, the other parts of Louisiana, though. It wasn't like that. And I, I really like the scenery, <clears throat> the scenery that I saw in Louisiana, outside of New Orleans. Um, but New Orleans is is a very old place. It's a very dirty place, and that's my impression of it. And uh, so, right now. Um, you're going to get to see the pictures in the video and you'll see exactly what, and I don't even get the worst of it on the video. It's more like, it's not so bad. Although you will, you will see in some of the pictures and video that I did, um, that you will see there, there's places like Larry Flint's hustler club, you know, and, uh, I mean, just stuff that's just outright pornography. And I didn't go any of those places. Okay. Uh, the only place we went into, we went into one shop that had some dog supplies in there from the show from Via Lobos, and uh, and that's what the first thing we went to see in New Orleans. My wife wanted to see Via Lobos it has to do with uh, it's a dog rescue place, and uh, you know so the only place we we ate at a, a Hard Rock Cafe there on Bourbon Street, but that's all we did was eat there, and then I walked the length of the place and, and left, you know, <laughs> but. Uh, You'll see uh, some of the pictures in the video I took. And like I said, it, it just shows me the time frame that we're living in. Um, and Jesus said, you know, it'll be as in the days of of uh, Lot and the days of Noah. And it just kind of felt that way going through the French Quarter. 
So with that, I'm going to say bye, and I'm going to let you see the videos and the, and the pictures. God bless you all.